I'm Helen Clare. Uh, my poetry is often about the world around me and things that happen, but more and more I write about science, um, which is my interest. My first book, Mollusk, was published by Comma Press a few years ago, and at the moment I'm working on a series of sonnets about insects, which are partly about the biology of the insect itself, but also, I hope, about different kinds of love. Stenolemus bituberus. I love them all. CSI, NCIS, Law and Order, Criminal Minds. I've read there's a comfort in these haunted heroes who are on our side when the worst has happened. My favourites are those killers who look a victim in the eye, tell them what they'll do or leave a trail of clues someone might unpick but never quite in time. And no one knows why an assassin bug, after creeping across the web, stretching, snipping, bouncing up a screen of vibrations, then mimicking a trapped fly, gives its prey a gentle tap? Or why, when before marriage he said he was selfish, I thought he exaggerated? It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Tipula pallidosa. Creatures of autumn, like honesty and buglier. They are here to set seed. They come to us to rest on our walls, in our gardens and in our homes. I've heard they tempt maidens to dance until they wither, skin drifting down, golden hair grizzled, they take our children, replace our loved ones with statues of wood. They shudder at the sound of bells. But they are not fairies, only memories. So delicate that if we catch them, they break. Their song is sunlight on dust, white noise on the edge of hearing, in which we hear our own loss. Grieve enough, and we sing with them the harmonics shattering time. Listen.